I've found two of the tallest creatures of them all, in fact. A pair of beautiful giraffe wandering through slowly into the sunrise. Question. Remember that... Remember that idea that Brent had that we were going to place bets on when the next, when 10,000 wildebeest entered the Mara Triangle? Did any of us actually win? I said eight days. I think I might have been off, but I think I might have been the closest. I'm not sure what Taylor said, but I, I said eight days, so I, I've got this feeling I might have been the closest of everyone. Because we've definitely, surely we've definitely seen more than 10,000 wildebeest coming across the river at this point. I know Taylor saw an enormous crossing yesterday. I don't know. Oh well, I, I can't even remember when it was that we spoke about that, so we'll just have to... Let's go with that. Let's go with that. It's interesting how common it is to see the giraffe with their heads down here. Of course you see it on Juma, but because of the, the sort of shrub-like nature of a lot of the plants that the giraffe feed on, they're still browsing, they're not grazing. <laughs> is that a case you're giving you trouble there? slightly flopped because of the nature of what of the the type of foliage that we get out here it's far more common to see the giraffe in this particular area with their heads down rather than reaching up and or sort of being a, around about shoulder level while they feed and typically when you look at the giraffe in south africa you usually find that the females tend to feed with their heads down or lower than the males do obviously part of that is part and parcel of the fact that the males are taller but there's also the fact that that is that is a an evolutionary way of removing competition whereas here you see the males and the females feeding with their heads down i'm so thrilled that these little mughis i don't quite know exactly what the mughis are but i'm so thrilled that they've been traveling in our bow wave the entire time They've kept us company all the way from the top of the hill. Come here, let me try and catch one of you. There we go. Little muchies. I wonder, all of us have been coming up with sort of mysterious bites on our, and I don't know if it's bites or, or what it is, but we've been, We've been coming up with this sort of mysterious patches on our skin, and I think it might be these guys. Here we go. All muddy from rolling up the car covers. They're all here. They're all keeping us company. Here we go. <laughs> Back to the giraffe. Donna, you want to know how tall the tallest giraffe is that I've ever seen? I... I would struggle to actually pick out one. I can think of a few instances where I've seen a male giraffe and gone, wow, that is a really big giraffe. And I would say that they would probably be over five and a half meters. So around about, what would that be? 17 feet tall, possibly a little bit more. Uh, the record breaking dra giraffe, giraffe was over six meters tall. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a record-breaking giraffe, but I've certainly seen some very tall individuals, both in the Mara and in South Africa as well. But I don't know that I can pick out one particular instance. And it's, you know, it's you don't think of, of trying to guess, ex well, maybe I don't. I certainly don't think of trying to guess at exactly how tall it is when I see it. I also realize that occasionally we become so accustomed to creatures, seeing creatures like giraffe, especially far away, that we forget just how, first of all, peculiar they are, as they really do start to look strange if you stare at them for too long. It's like saying the word potato repeatedly. It starts to sound odd. But they do start to look strange, but we also forget just how tall they are, which sounds ridiculous because we know that they're the tallest land mammal. But somehow you just lose track of that fact. I wonder. It's difficult to get a sense of scale. I always, feel, I always wish that we could do the, the same thing that we do with elephants, with giraffe, you know, where we wait for the animal to go away and then we run into the same place that they were and then we get, ask all of you back at home to photoshop us into a screenshot with the animal 
and it gives a really lovely perspective as to just how tall some of the animals are. We've done it with elephants before and it works beautifully. I'm not going to get out and run all the way down there though. I'm guaranteed to get into trouble if I do that.